Alright guys, this is a quick video on bouncing, how to bounce shots off another ship. I'm just doing a real fast 1v1 to show how to bounce shots. It's just going to be nothing but a very fast tutorial. Hopefully this will help certain people understand. Angles of a ship, how to angle your ship properly. I know I'm using the second rates, or a little bit bigger than fifth rates obviously. But you can usually do the same angles most of the time for most ships. Certain ships are a little different than others. But this is just a very fast video on exactly how to bounce shots. Taking on AI is completely different than taking on a player, but if you understand how to bounce shots off from an AI, it might help you in your future PvP battles. So we've already given him just a real fast broadside on that Pavel. I'm using a Christian. Christian has a nice round hole. Not as round as the Pavel. The Pavel actually has a much higher chance of bouncing than a Christian does, believe it or not. So I've already taken his first left broadside right into me. I've bounced most shots off. We're about even right now. I'm going to give him a very crappy broadside, to be honest with you. Shot way too late. I should have shot a lot sooner. But now that I've broadsided, I know that he is still reloading. So I'm going to do a full right-hand turn, depowered. Got him as fast as I can. I'm probably going to power up here in just a second just to get that speed up. He's shooting his top decks. Now his top decks do not have big enough cannons to do any damage on my hull. So speeding up there, deep, or powering up. We'll then start going straight at his nose. We'll actually go a little bit in front of his nose, if anything. Right about there. Straighten out. Now he's got his bottom decks. So he's starting to fire right now. You watch those are doing very little damage if anything most of them are just going to bounce straight off which is really nice it's always fun to watch a bunch of cannonballs just bounce right off your hole because ai are not that smart now this is just how you want to do any of these battles against ai if you want to get maximum damage and a lot more experience sitting behind an ai stern raking them and killing them works as well this video is for for uh, bouncing shots off your hole so now that he's fired his lower deck, we can now go at him, do a full broadside, and we'll actually continue to turn left. We'll do a hard left, so hit that Q and C button, turn your man use your manual sailing, and turn all the way around. He's probably just close to reloading his top deck, yep. Now his cannons again aren't big enough to do anything to me. It's that bottom deck that we really want to be careful of. Those cannons are big enough and have enough power to penetrate the hole here. So, we just keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. You want to keep that stern away. Did just most of his broadside. We're actually going to depower, keep on this course, and wait until our cannons reload. Here we go. He's hit a few right into my stern, but most of them are bouncing off. And those were some of his lower decks there. It's time to turn back, give another nice, fun little broadside here. Again, do not worry about the top deck, those things are useless. See if we actually get a little bit better shot. Now again, we're not going for the leaks right now. I'm just going for the broadside and to show how to bounce. Okay, we've already at least our broadside. You already want to start that turn, aiming straight at him. You want to? I want to get a faster turn. It's not going to be a sharp, but I need a fast turn. There we go. Once again, we're going to aim straight in front of him and watch as his lower decks fire and just bounce right off. And that's the main point behind all of this, is to get those lower decks to bounce. The main problem most players, are, if you're newer, or even players who aren't that new and have made it to Commodore and sell these bigger ships, they just think, oh, I'm going to sit broadside to broadside. That's what these ships are made for, broadside to broadside. In reality, you're just going to get your head kicked in. So I'm showing you, if you want to aim just in front of his bow, not right at him, but just in front of him, so he just keeps bouncing off those lower decks. Now let's see if we can't get a few fun little leaks into this guy that now that he shot his lower deck he's gonna have to reload and see doing this if you can't tell look at my health compared to this guy's health let's see let's go for some leaks aim low right there should be a few decent leaks 17 works but now look at the damage this guy's got I know it's an AI doesn't matter Look what I've got. That's all, all due to doing my absolute best to bounce as many shots off me. So let's just uh, end this up real quick. He's just going to single shot for a little while. 
I'm not going to be able to angle up as much due to the wind. But I'm still bouncing quite a few shots off me. Alright, let's actually go back at this guy and use our other side to do one final decent broadside into him. He's probably going to take a decent amount of my hole away. That's what happens when you don't angle your ship. One broadside from an AI does hurt more than you think it does. And again, you guys can actually do this with 5th rates, 4th rates, 3rd rates, 2nd, 1st, it doesn't matter. Even little 6th rates can actually bounce shots if you do it correctly. Alright, so we've taken a broadside, we gave a broadside. Instead of doing the continuously aim at him, aim away from him, aim at him, aim away from him, I'm just going to turn at this guy and give him a broadside from my other side here. But really the end result here, oh, we're at a point where we're bouncing shots off again. See, you want to keep that perfect angle right at him. Now, now AI, dumb as they are, he's just going to continue on that same course. I'm going to flip all the way around doing a hard right. If I ever turn my rudder. There we go. This guy should have shot right there. Quick broadside. He's on fire. Most of it is down. And if you can't tell, look at the enemy ship compared to me. Lots of health, less hull repairs. And isn't it nice to go into a battle and not use all your gosh dang hole repairs? You shouldn't have to. In my opinion, fighting AI, if you're going into every AI battle and using nothing but repairs, then you have a lot more to learn. You want to save your hole repairs, save you some money in this game. This guy's done, and I'm continuing on. So, quick, easy battle, guys. You can do this with most ships. Again, wood type has a role to play, other ships have a role to play. But uh, try and uh, angle your ship more often. Bounce some shots off you. See if you can save a little bit of hit points and uh, sink a lot more enemies. Thanks again for watching.